Well, ayahuasca was... Uh, I, I'm not sure I'd, I've been drinking ayahuasca because it felt like it went directly in my brain. Didn't, didn't went in the stomach. It was like... Um, I'm, I don't know if it's good, but I'm kind of happy because I still didn't puke. <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> um, I felt like in the Divine Comedy of Dante, meaning uh, I was kind of guided through millions of worlds of incredible things. Like, you know, when um, a cat uh, carries her kitten by the neck, I felt like Ayahuasca was holding me like this, <laughs> and showing me, like, look, look. <laughs> Which means I wasn't able to control it. <laughs> but that was really awesome. Uh, f amongst the million things I felt, uh, I was shown, like, some sort of... Um, like the reservoir of stars, <laughs> or like billions of stars, and said like, yeah, yeah, that's where we keep stars when we want to put some in the sky. And <laughs> they kind of peeled the earth, and inside there was like a clockwork, <laughs> giant clockwork, and I was like, ah, oh, okay, that's how it goes. <laughs> it was, a, I think it was a lesson it's going to take me 10 years to understand exactly <laughs> the, the lesson, but it was great. Yeah, that was great. And, and I'd say that was the perfect structure of an um, ayahuasca journey, like the perfect uh, length and strength and everything. I wouldn't have drunk uh, another glass because that would have been clearly too much and less would have been not enough. That was perfect really like <coughs> the first experience was like opening the door and yes <laughs> everything was open so Ay ayahuasca took me everywhere um, a funny thing I think I now understand all the drawings of Indian cultures or uh, aborigines in Australia and that's like yeah now when I'm gonna see it I'm gonna yeah yeah of course <laughs>